Hey guys, so what I'm going to be doing today is teaching you how to wrap your lock. If you're thinking about accenting your lock without getting color, this is definitely the video for you. All you'll need is some embroidery thread, some scissors. So I'm just going to, for ease of this video, choose this guy right here and you can do this if your hair is freshly retwisted if it's not retwisted um if you're free forming however you want you can definitely wrap your locks i would say that um newly formed locks like starter locks whether they're coils or two strand twists should wait until you're at least past the six month mark so you cut your string i have a pretty long piece here you want to try to make sure you want to try to make sure that they're even and then you make a slip knot hopefully you can see this i'll do it on my shirt so have like an x take the string that's underneath pull it through then you have a slip knot it is now a slip knot because as you pull this string as you pull this string it'll get tighter and smaller go ahead slide that bad boy through the loop Pull it tighter, see it's dangling. So that way you can make it as close as you like. Pull your string, tighten it up on there. The cool thing about the slip knot is that when you go to take this out, all you gotta do is loosen up the knot and it'll slide back off. You don't have to try to cut this part that you tie on, which could cause some people to cut their lock and we don't want that. So then, once it's tight and secure, Hold your lock and then take the string and wrap around. Ideally, you want to go in the direction that you retwist just in case you keep it in um, after you shampoo and decide to retwist. That way it won't unravel if you went if you go the same way that you retwist. So go around and if you go, you'll notice you'll get a different effect if you go close together or far apart. I'm gonna go kind of like medium width. And you want to wrap on a diagonal, so you don't want to go straight across, you want to kind of go downwards a little bit. And for thicker locks especially, I find that using both the shrinks together is um, easier and gives a more bolder effect. You could also take one string at a time, but it's up to you. So once you get to the bottom, some people leave it like this, but we're going to take it and go back up. And you want to make sure that you're crossing, crossing the one that you did previously so that you get an X. My string is so long, so I gotta like throw it behind me. And see, these ones are a little closer together. You see how close the X's are? It gives a totally different look if you do close, close X's. All right, so now once you get to the top, like this is the slip knot right there, get to the top, go ahead and wrap around straight this time. Oops. All right, so, all right. So just wrap it around a couple times to secure. And then, until now that we're at the top, 